Lily of the Valleys. These beautiful flowers are the reward you can receive for achieving the ever sought after five star island. Previously, they were known as Jacob's Ladders, though I, I don't know why this was mistranslated that way because these are Jacob's Ladders and these are Lily of the Valleys. Seems like this should have been fixed sometime in the last 20 years. Lilies of the Valleys have existed in the Animal Crossing series since the Japanese E Plus version, which was the one released after the international version that we know, population growing. Therefore, these flowers, then again called Jacob's Ladders, were included in the next installment, Wild World. Since then, Lily of the Valleys have been gracing our islands with their wonderful surprise appearance. It's a fun thing to happen across as you explore your island. A random new beautiful white flower that you can appreciate for all your hard work. How do these flowers appear? Where can they spawn and how often? Lily of the Valleys only appear if your island holds five stars, right before the morning announcements. This is when the game RNGs mostly everything in the game that day, from the tree growth to flower breeding to placing lost items on the ground. This means that your island rating can decrease throughout the day, but as long as you end and log off with a five star rating, you'll still have a chance for a Lily of the Valley appearing the next time you log on. What exactly are the chances of this flower appearing? Thankfully, amazing data miners and testers have found the chances of one spawning. The very first time you reach the 5 star island achievement, after KK Slider has already performed for the first time, every day you keep the perfect rating, you'll have a 50% chance of a Lily of the Valley spawning. This is only for the first one that you ever receive in the game. After that, the calculation gets slightly more complicated. The chance of one appearing is calculated with this formula. The counter starts at 1 and increases by 1 every day that you log on to the game and keep a 5 star rating. This means that on the first day there is a 7% chance 1 will appear, and by the 10th day, if 1 has not yet spawned, there is a 100% chance that you'll wake up to a beautiful flower somewhere on your island. And where is that somewhere? Basically, on a cliff edge. There's a lot of specifics for what characteristics a particular square of land needs to be acceptable for a Lily of the Valley to spawn, but to simplify it, they normally spawn on a cliff edge southeast or west, cannot be adjacent to water, and must be a square that a flower can actually grow on. They also can't spawn on a one square small cliff, so something like this wouldn't be able to spawn a Lily of the Valley, but this spot can since there's room behind the spawn point. Once a Lily of the Valley has spawned, that counter resets back to zero and the process starts over. You do have to actually play the game for the counter to increase. You can't just log on one day, wait 10 days of no new horizons in your life and expect to find a Lily of the Valley. Your villagers will hate you and so will the flower. The counter increases by one only if you play the game that day and sit through Isabel's wonderful daily announcements that always has something informative about socks. Other than looking pretty, Lily of the Valleys don't really do anything else. You can't breed them, they can't be picked like the other flowers, and no, they do not increase the chances of nearby flowers creating hybrid flowers. I don't know where that rumor came from. On the plus side, they can't be trampled, so running through them will have no repercussions unless you happen to be on someone else's island, then they'll probably give you the stink eye for being a pain in the butt. To sum everything up, get a 5 star island and Lily of the Valleys will appear at some point as long as you have room for them on your island. I've always loved the appearance of these flowers. It's a beautiful reward for all your hard work of making your island beautiful. I'm happy this is one of the mechanics that have stuck around in the series, and something that actually returned to New Horizons, cause lord knows not a lot did. Have you reached a 5 star island yet? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!